A lot of agriculture is big scale stuff. It's got some big problems too. It needs crop scientists like me to look for the solutions. Today, as part of my scientific research, I'm on the hunt for nematodes. Now, these are microscopic worms which infest our sugar beet crop, and my work is looking how we can reduce their ill effects and maximise yield for growers. When these are fully grown, it'll take five of these to produce this one kilogram of sugar. However, when fields are infested with the nematode I'm studying, we can lose up to half of this. The job I do can be really varied. Some days I'll be out in the field collecting samples, like today. Otherwise, I can be in the lab analysing and writing up results to pass on the information to the growers funding the research. To be a good crop scientist, um, I believe you need a lot of determination. You need to then be able to understand what you found out and then pass that information on to the growers effectively and to other people in the industry to make sure that what you found out is of use to them. To be a good scientist, you've got to have a passion for your work and for the specific field you're in. For crop science, it's definitely biology. You need to understand why things can change from year to year and season to season. And you also need to have a good grasp of data analysis. My route to this job uh, was always through my passion for agriculture and for feeding the world. So I studied A-levels and then went to study agriculture at the University of Nottingham, where I then stayed on to study my PhD. You certainly don't have to be born into farming to become a crop scientist. I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was at university and never ever saw myself as a crop scientist. But it's great fun. There are so many opportunities coming up in crop science and I hope my career will be able to take me all over the world in the future, researching lots of different crops and helping the world feed itself more sustainably.